Hello and welcome back to another episode of Cranky Conrods and today we are back working on Damien. Now Damien has been kicking my ass when it comes to uh, getting him to run properly. He's decided now that he's just going to completely quit charging and he's just, that's it, whatever. So what we've done is we've pulled his alternator off and to try and see if we can find a smoking gun here. But anyway, nonetheless, we've got the alternator off, it's on the bench. And we're just going to go in and show you guys what's inside an alternator and just how easy it is to replace the alternator. Uh, internals, I mean, a novice can do it. Hey, if I can do it, you can do it. Um, so at the end of the day, if it comes apart, you know, as my saying says, it comes together in pieces, it's got to come apart in pieces. So without much more of a chit chat and further ado, let's get dive right into this alternator and let's find the smoking gun. What, what can we say here, folks? He's just kicking our butts. Right, folks, so as you can see here on the table, in the vise, secured, uh, is Damien's alternator. So we have one, two, three, four, eight mils that we're going to undo. We've got the, the 13 mil on the back of the ink, the plastic isolator that goes through the body. Now, under here, you're going to have, uh, this is part of the rectifier that comes around here. Then you've got the voltage regulator. And then here, you're going to have the brushes. You're going to see, this moment, I'll take this apart. So I'm just going to grab the uh, 8 mil. We're just going to whip these out. And you guys are going to see exactly what it is that's inside there. So, as you can see, this here, take this rubber grower off. Just put that over there. This here is your electric rectifier, electro rectifier. This sorts out DC, ACs, and all that mechanical and gizmo stuff for the uh, energizer up at the front. And this here is your voltage regulator. And these are your brushes. Now, as you can kind of see down inside there, look, the brushes are in quite good condition. I'm not going to go and thing. But we have ordered new voltage regulator, new rectifier, and brush kit. This part and this part is about £18 on eBay. This part here, the rectifier, is about £22, £23, give and take, on eBay. Depends on brands and makes that you want to get. I went for the most expensive one, which is next to OE quality. And for this, this, and this, came to around £50. Um, the alternator bearings are good, so the alternator bearings are good, so that's really the only the main thing that ever can slow us down. So for on the back of here is where all the electrics are. From here down, we do not ever need to worry about this. Apart from there's one bearing, it's just underneath here, which you'll see in a moment, and the one bearing is just behind the pulley. But to get to all that, you've got to strip it all down and there's lots of uh, mechanical stuff that you've got to be careful of when stripping it down. But it's quite basically, it's simple, it's easy and everything else. But without much further ado, we're just going to dive right into changing these and changing this. I mean, I am going to have to wait, sadly, for about a month for these to turn up. So I found myself a set of good used parts. So we're just going to put them in. Hopefully, till then, this thing's going to work. Good old Damien. Right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to undo one, two, three. This stays with it because this all comes out as one piece. And then what we're going to do is at the end of that, once we get this off, I'll tell you what, once I've got this off, I'll show you how to do the rectifier. But that's still quite very simple. It's just screw there, screw there, screw there, and a screw there on the sides here. But what you're going to do is you're going to put your screwdriver or your piece on top. I like to use these. And what you're going to do is get a very small hammer and just lightly tap the top just to shock it. And 
I've already done these, so forgive me. There we go. So at the end of the day, I've already done these. I'm going to get this off and show you guys what we're up to then. And so once you've got that, them screws out, look, that one, that one, that one, and that one, this then, you just gently wriggle this up. And as you can see, if it'll focus, we're actually quite clean on the back of here. So I don't think it's the voltage regulator that's going to be the faulty, because to be honest, this one looks quite, quite new. Or recent new, should we call it. But we're not going to rule this out. So we're going to just get that to the side, and then what we're going to do is undo that screw, that one, and that one. And we're going to do the same again. <clears throat> we're just going to put the screwdriver on the side like that. And we're just going to lightly tap it. And as we're lightly tapping it, we're just going to try and unscrew it. Because sometimes it can be a bit tight. And you've only got really only got one shot at taking these out. So if you damage them, that's it. Game over. Unless you want to drill them out and then use a pair of pliers once you've got the thing off and get the studs out. But nonetheless, let's dive more into this and get on with it. And there you have it. You're going to end up with it looking like this. With these electric pins sticking up through the thing. That's what the screws go into to the rectifier. Now we're just going to clean all this up in here because it does look quite dirty in there um so we're just going to go in there um, and just see what we can do to aid cleaning it so what i might do is i might take off the four eight mils around the side prize this backing plate off or i might just blow and leave it i don't know we'll, we'll wait and see what i think um but yeah you can then prize the back off and peer inside um but i don't really want to go that far with this one if I can extremely help it. Um, but if we do, we do. And I'll join you back in a moment when I've decided what I'm going to do. So, as you can see, I've kind of uh, rinsed it and cleaned it and whatever. I've just got to wash it off. But these little tabs, brushes, that you see here, you just put your finger up inside. You just literally push them together with your fingers and just be very careful when you're dropping them back down look well, obviously i'll set that more into place and screw it up and use a ton of brake and clutch cleaner and clean everything up and we'll get the back on it i'll show you what it looks like oh and if you guys have noticed that the pin here has come out a different way you'd be right <laughs> <coughs> anyway We'll see how it goes. Anyway, we'll get this put back together and we'll uh, see what happens. Right, so as you can see, I've got the back on it now. I've had to cut the side out of it. Um, a lot of you are going to be cringing and shivering and Ooh! But you go ahead and pay £300 for another alternator. While mine just cost me £3 to fix. So if this works, it's cost me £3. I'm not that bothered by a bit of, uh, well, should we call it thing? Uh, dress, skirt, I don't know, a bit of uh, fancy dancy dango, bit of metal. Um, but at the end of the day, three quid, I'll take that all day long. It's just got me out, if this gets me out of a the pickle, then fantastic. But obviously, you know, I'm just showing you guys a video of what's inside the alternator and how to replace some bits and pieces. I mean, obviously we're going to replace the internal parts properly and I'll order just another back shield. Um, but generally and overall, for £3, Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, do the Van Dango, do whatever you like, but for three quid, I'll take that every day, all day. Um, so, I hope you did find this video interesting. And if you do, and this is the sort of stuff that you like, please hit the subscribe button and please hit the notifications and, you know, and the like button and all that fancy doodle doodle stuff that's down here and, you know, usual good stuff. And I hope to see you all in the next one. Peace out.